Is it necessary for a science fiction epic to deliver on the big ideas it promises, or is just the promise enough? And when you're talking about something like Ridley Scott's Prometheus, which delivers frights and chills on a massive scale, should it be faulted for missing something that we wish was there? Prometheus depicts the beginnings of the alien universe, the one that began with Scott's 1979 horror touchstone, though this new work is tethered only to that classic's opening act. Scientists, led by New Muir Page's Elizabeth Shaw, is on a spacecraft at the end of the 21st century. They're looking for the origins of mankind, a leap of faith springing from the discovery of galaxy map cave drawings. Using that map, a 17-person expedition is launched to find what Shaw calls engineers, because they, she supposes, engineered us. As the scientists descend to a planet's surface and find the remains of a giant being whose DNA perfectly matched ours, everyone on the ship is awed. Then things quickly go bad as scientists find a destructive black goo that may have been intended for Earth before the engineers were massacred by a mysterious force. They should head home, but the ship's steely, secretive commander, played by Charlize Theron, and the android David, played by Michael Fassbender, have other plans, which include keeping the ship's captain from blasting off. It's hard to talk about Prometheus without giving much away. The story owes a lot to Forbidden Planet and 2001 A Space Odyssey, yet it's constructed like a modern thriller. Surprise is part of the fun. For all the jumps and jolts, though, what resonates in Scott's graceful, grown-up film is its majestic mind. Though the movie pulls back from what could have been some mind-blowing scenes, we're left, after all the propulsive action, with great turns by Theron and Rapache, and a tightly wound turn by Fassbender. All of them are seeking a soul in Prometheus, which I guess makes us the same as them. I'm Joe Newmeyer, film critic for the New York Daily News.